gentlemen, we are now in the Supreme. We've just fired up the motor. We have the temperature coming up here. It's just starting to come above 120. We have oil pressure, fuel, none. Well, we have more, but the boat's leaning up on the ramp still. And volts, we are charging. 720 RPMs right here and 269.7 hours, 1.7 foot deep, 69 degree water. Uh, currently running the blower and going there. So we're gonna see if we can get this off the trailer here. We unhooked at the winch. Okay, we're clear. for a sec keep us off the dock there we go love the, the smooth shift in and out so dang nice okay here we are a little bit of wind out here today sorry about that but that's what we got to work with okay we're gonna go ahead and put it in drive here and head up into the wind so it's always hard. I tell you what, I run all these boats, you see all the videos and stuff. You never know when a boat's not going to work. I mean, boats are boats. They break. They're, they have issues here and there. I mean, the thing is, though, is running them and getting some runtime on them and getting to know your boat always makes you feel confident with it. But if it's not your boat, how do you get confident with it? I mean, you got you to gotta run it a little bit and take some time. So that's what we're... We always do, we run up wind so the wind will blow us back. <laughs> There's a little insider information. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of throttle. Okay, we're just kind of cruising up into here a little bit. Okay, all systems still looking good here. mirror up there you can see behind us good with that actually works now I don't know if you really get a demo of this but this this boat has a excellent sounding audio system it's actually over there and it hooks up Bluetooth you can play your cool music right off your phone and I'll tell you what it sounds good it thumps and those speakers up there those Rockford Fosgates up top here those things are rad. So when you get behind this boat to wakeboard or something, I think you're really going to have a good, a good time with that. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more throttle here. We're up here about 15, 1600 RPMs. Putting the boat into a little bit of air. We don't want to throw too much wake around here, but turn around a few times and make sure everything runs good. And then we'll check our ballast tanks and stuff over at the dock. Adding more throttle, 2,000 RPMs. She's starting to throw a little surf wake there. Actually, we're all a little bit above surf speed. You can surf that pretty good. And there's no ballast even in this. I actually am impressed. I was worried that it might be too little of a wake. Okay, brought it up to uh, 2,500 RPMs, and we're starting to plane out on the water. All systems feel good so far. 35 miles an hour. Okay, going into a turn, kind of head back. Pretty good tight turn. Uh, she gets it. This boat's got plenty where that where it needs it. Gonna pull it off plane here. We're gonna do a dead start and then we'll try out this perfect pass. So turn the system on. Set point is 13 for uh, surfing. 
So we're going to go ahead and set that perfect pass for uh, 13 miles an hour, and that's so cool. I'll, I'll tell you what, like your standard boats, your inboard outwards and stuff, just this option alone makes every wake boat worth it. It's the perfect pass system that they have in them. So here we go. I'm going to show you here. So see where we're straight. I'm kind of pointing us straight. And I just throttle it. And then you see this? It just puts the boat right there. I'm not touching anything. You see it's holding it back. That's full throttle right there. And it's sitting here right at 13 miles an hour making our wake back there. Look at that wake. That is a pretty, pretty wake. Holy smokes. That is a pretty wake. See right there? It's doing that all on its own, holding us right at the ideal speed. All free and clear on that. Because trying to hold this perfect speed, oh man, the whole time you're sitting here messing with the throttles and sit here and the boat can do it for us. Check that out. Okay, and then if you want to speed up, you're just going to bring this set point up. There's 15.3 miles an hour. See, and that thing just controls it right there. Pretty amazing. Check our systems, water temperature sweet, oil pressure strong, voltage still good. Let's open her up and see how it does. Oh baby! Woohoo! fast that feels fast too you know a lot of these boats they might be 50 miles an hour but they sit so high up you you don't feel it but this boat kind of sits lower and you kind of see the horizon right next to you and man that's fun okay we'll go ahead and just test all the systems here on the ballast but i'm going to run around for the for the uh, aerials for you so you can see them on the drone so you can get some good footage i'm going to try it out i got to put you away to do that check out this 2008 supreme wake boat this thing is rad, 21 foot. And we'll start here at the front here of the trailer. We got a two inch coupler, the quick release on here. The brakes, and the brakes do work because if you don't have that in there and you don't have the fifth plug, it won't work, but that's a five flat plug. Or yeah, five flat plug. You can plug it into a four flat like we just did, but then your brakes won't work. Uh, so it's got that, it's got a swing away tongue here on there as well. So you can save yourself 24 inches of parking space once it gets into the garage, whatnot. And then going down here, looking down the keel, I do not see one single scratch. So keel is good, no scratches. We've got a tiny little one here. We've got a nick right there, which is probably coming in, hitting one of these sides. So you're gonna do the same thing. And then we've got one right here. It's likely hitting the same thing too, just on the rub rail. But my goodness, straight, clean boat. Uh, looking down, it's still glossy too, so it's got wax on it and stuff. It's probably there. You can see a little bit of residue from waxing it, so you've got that. Um, stowaway cleats, those pop out, go in so they don't snag. A nice uh, fold away tower. You just unscrew this here and the tower can lay back so that you can uh, put it in the garage parking area or whatnot on the trailer here it's a steel trailer but there's a little bit of where the paint is is peeling off right here in this crack but the rest of the trailer looks really pretty good uh, we've got race line wheels aluminum wheels on that and some really cool tr uh, transporter tires i love the tread look on these they kind of look aggressive a uh, better looking trailer tire than most of them you see uh, nice lines on the boat kind of a cool little drop down line on the side there looks super super nice uh, when you get back you probably saw the pictures but looks super good uh, load guides here uh, boat buckle the retractable buckles they only take a second so right now it's tight but you just pull that up and you're now unhooked not fighting with it trying to figure out how to get it to 
latch up, you just do that and then tight, done. So super nice that way. Um, underneath the keel here, good shape, no nicks at all on the prop. So the prop is 100% straight, no nicks or anything. Uh, this did just have the water pump, so I don't wanna forget to tell you, the water pump is just changed out on it. So the, the raw water cooling pump. Okay, big, big area back here. We're like 30 inches off the back of this deck. It sits right at water level. It's got this nice heavy coating on it, so you can't scratch it all up with your boards. So you put that on there and go from there. Uh, we've got, coming over this side, these are your ports, there's your bilge, and then you have your two, uh, two uh, uh, overflows for the ballast. We've got that, here's our fill here, starboard side fill. Okay, condition wise on this side, looks pretty, 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 no scratches, no, oh, I found a teeny little nick. There's my finger next to it. So that's what we're dealing with on this boat. Very minimal, very minimal. There's a little, that'll all come on, it comes off. So I think that looks really good. It's got a little bit of dust on it. It's been, bar, uh, it's been kept in the garage, so garage kept. This wheel right here on the spare, it has a matching spare, that's a good thing, it has a little scrape. So this tire on here has been changed out at one point because it's not the original tire for that. Okay, but the tires look like they're brand new on there. Let's hop inside of here. Um, this is a wake boat, so standard procedure is we kick off our shoes and hop on in. Let's get an engine shot here. Okay, this is a 5.7 liter Mercruiser Scorpion. One of the easiest engines to work on. Parts are readily available for these. All good that way. Uh, let's see, uh, fuel injection on, electronic fuel injection, so you don't have a lot of cranking and trying to get it to go uh, with a carburetor storage here. And then you can see the ballast tanks, they run along the front here. You can see them down in the, there. That's how I knew when they were full. You can always see them overflow when they're full. They, they pump out once they're full. However, um, if you're not anticipating, you can lift the top up. You probably see some video where I was doing that, watching how fast it filled. Also too, once I put it under power, uh, it started to fill faster. So uh, twin batteries in here uh, that helps carry the stereo system. The stereo system definitely uh, gets it, definitely thumps. And so that's cool. Uh, let's see, we've got a couple of nicks on here in the vinyl. So that's through the vinyl. So you could utilize a little bit of vinyl repair on that. Uh, we've got some cracks along this seam here in the back, if you see those. Uh, it is repairable as well, and I'd probably recommend doing that with one of those little kit, vinyl kits. Um, they're cheap and easy to do, but it's good to get after it ahead of time. Uh, storage compartments here. You'll see underneath each seat, no storage. And this one right here can be opened up, and that'll get you to the uh, V-Drive for services and stuff. So there's your V-Drive access, also your fuel uh, tank hookups. Okay, and then over here we got some storage, you got an anchor, a couple, of, uh, a couple items that come with it here. This whole entire air seat comes up here, exposing a large storage area up to the front, as well as the amp for the stereo system, some wiring in there. Big area for life jackets and whatnot. Super cool area. We've got a storage compartment up here and that's where we're also putting our, our uh, head unit for the stereo system. It is Bluetooth. It takes a minute to get it figured out. It took me a minute to figure it out to test it. However, once I got my, my phone connected, boom, we were sounding good. So good. So good. Okay, so uh, we already kind of looked at all these on the test drive. Here's where you fill. That's where you're going to fill. That's where you're going to empty out. They both sound like they're empty. Okay. And then our stereo, to turn that on. Courtesy lights. Do we have any courtesy? Oh, back here we have a courtesy light. Kicked on. Nav and anchors. So there's our nav. And where's our anchor light on this sucker? Oh, it's a plug-in. That's laying in the back compartment. We'll test that. And then 
It has another fill and empty here, but I don't think that's connected to anything because I think you can put those ballast bags in the back here. I don't have, we don't have any, but the ballast bags, you can hook up that third pump if you want pre-wired for that. So you could have that, that uh, ballast, or so you could put more ballast to the back there. Okay, we have a temperature and depth gauge here for that bilge pump. You can hear it fire off. Blower, hear it fire off, and horn works. Okay, there's our lanyard. You always hook that up while you're driving, as you noticed I did. And then, let's move forward quickly here. No, oh, one thing is, that Sony stereo right there is not hooked up. So that's just a gauge a block filler, so that could be probably removed. Sitting up front here, if you like, like to ride the bow, uh, good condition on all our cushions up here. We've got a little air toy. We'll probably take that out just because. Okay, filler cushion on the front. Oh, that's stuck. And then on this side here, we've got a filler cushion, and that's an empty storage area up there. Could use a quick vacuum out. There we go. Another courtesy light up here too. And cup holders everywhere on this boat. Okay, so big tall tower, 6'1 here. So the tower's sitting right about six, uh, six, a little over six and a half feet, almost seven feet. Nice setup tower, good looking boat. Love the orange, that's just personal opinion, but that's one of my favorite colors, especially on a boat with the black trimmed out trailer and wheels. It looks pretty sick. So there we go. Um, we're over here in Florence, Oregon. I think that's everything. Shifting was smooth, everything was smooth that way. Right into gear, right out of gear. Um, I love the way those velvet drives are. So nice. You don't feel the clunk when they go into gear. They're just like, and they go right in. Um, so right here in Florence, Oregon. So we're right on the coast, hour outside of Eugene off of I-5. And you can get to us really easy. You pull in, pull out. Just a small shop, just Jackson and I and Kalina and Kale working at the shop. So family business. And we're uh, always into making boat deals. So uh, this one's a consignment that we have uh, for one of my buddies, one of my friends. So it's, uh, we've got the history on it. It's got a solid history of maintenance and, and whatnot. So it should be a really good, good boat for somebody. Uh, come and make it your boat. So let's uh, get you uh, a deal on it and go call your, call your uh, if you need to finance on it. It is a 2008, so you want to check with anybody that you're financing with if they'll do a 2008 or if not. Um, but uh, heck, man, for, for where we're going to be asking on this boat, it, Probably pretty easy cash deal for some people too. So let's get it going and get out on the water. I just should have grabbed a boat or board and we could have ripped out here today. It's beautiful. Like very seldom do we have this nice of weather out here. Like out there, it's pretty. It's a little ripple, but there's it's smooth. So yeah, this is this is good times right here.